This is Matrix Lord 212, and um, I think Chris Chimnall, as a showrunner, needs to stop with these stupid, stupid messages about saving the environment um, and all these different things. Uh, we watched Doctor Who to escape from the everyday, and all this nonsense about, you know, we're destroying ourselves and stuff like that, and... You know, it's not, it's bad enough that he's shoving the whole women thing in our face where Moffat wouldn't do that. But now they don't even cast properly. They they say like they don't, hard, they hardly cast like white people, which is discriminatory. And you, you're trying to, like people are talking about congratulating Chimel for um, Basically doing stuff that other showrunners don't and having like a gay couple on there, like a guy gay couple. Like, didn't Russell T. Davis do that? Didn't he do Queer as Folk? I'm sorry. Um, didn't Moffat do that in Doctor Who? So I think the Whovians are brainwashed thinking like they're trying to give him achievements when he really doesn't have an achievement like that. Um, because again, Captain Jack, hello. Uh, first series of Doctor Who, of New Who. Um... Madame Vastra and Jenny. Hi. Um, Bill Potts, anybody? Wow. So, Chris Chibnall, like, having a gay couple kiss, okay. Like, it's been done. What are you talking about? I don't get it. I think people are trying to give him victories that he don't have. Um, but, you know, ratings speak volumes and... While Doctor Who won't get canceled um, now because Series 13 is already green lit and they're going to be filming, the BBC are going to be thinking about it heavily as Series 13 gets prepared. Um, and I'm sure that if anything happens in Series 13 that it will be over. So just keep in mind, like, you're doing a show for the people, for the fans, not that you have to give them fan service, not that you have to give them what they want, but try not to put your bullshit agendas in the episode. You're hired to write Doctor Who. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care if you're about recycling. I don't care. If you're, could you just write about a Time Lord named the Doctor and could we go off Earth once in a while? And could we go into space and could we stop trying to get caught up with all these fucking subliminal bullshit messages. Like, I'm getting kind of sick of it. You know, and his stupid, stupid, stupid episode about Nikola Tesla and, and Thomas Edison, that it's his opinion that he's invoking into an episode that he's trying to educate the children about history, but he's not educating them. He's poisoning their mind with a fake history and you're having the doctor introduce this history there's no evidence whatsoever that thomas edison was like that and it and even a dick so why would the only thing that's dickish is is nikola tesla's like ripping thomas edison to shreds when, in, the, in the obituary when thomas edison died that's kind of fucked up but like you know to put bullshit history out there and make it like canon for the doctor to say it and then when these fucking people grow up that they're doctor who fans they're like they think oh it's just fucking real from doctor who because they you know they're educational and they're fucking family and their history they'll believe the bullshit and then they go into life and they get their ass handed to them because it's all fucking bullshit please don't put your fucking agenda chris chibnall into the fucking episode i'm sick of it you're hired to do a fucking job do the fucking job, and if you're going to do historical episodes, do it fucking historically accurate. And and if you're not doing it accurate, write that it's a fucking alternate history on it. Because I'm, it, it's just fucking sickening. Explaining it, I you know, and, and then you're dividing Whovians. Then you got the Whovians that's so far up your ass that they're fucking like, just like, oh yeah, I believe it, that's it. Without any, close-minded. I mean, I got some people in my group that are just like, oh, Jim said it, it's real. Please, please, stop shoving the fact that the doctor's a woman on her face. We know that. I accept it already. Stop. Stop fucking casting. Every, like, just stop having every single race on a wheel and spinning it and saying, all right, today we're doing an Asian. 
Like, stop. That's fucking discriminatory in itself. The fact that you're fucking purposely not hiring white people. And you're like, all right, now we're going to have an Indian. Now we're going to have, like, this is fucking ridiculous. I mean, you look at Dr. Who, this is fucking ridiculous. Whatever happens, you're casting people for the role, regardless of race. Now you're like, nope, no whites. We need Asians. We need, you know, co people of color. We need uh, Muslims. We need, like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing with Doctor Who? It looks so fucking weird. So fucking weird. Like, if you're going to be diversity, then be diversity. Don't make it like one race is secluded from the whole fucking show. Like, seriously. That's not what diversity is. Diversity is about every race. Diverse. Not fucking white people not allowed. Like, it's ridiculous. It's so unintellectual. It's so discriminatory racist that you cannot have, like, you are purposely, purposely doing the show this way. It's fucking weird. And, and all the messages are getting fucking fed up with fans. And you'll have people that will come out, they'll bash the fans that are hoovings themselves. But then the overall majority don't like this bullshit going on. Stop. Can we just get back to fucking sci-fi, Doctor Who and Gallifrey and this, and stop trying to fucking promote a message. Shut the fuck up, Chris Chibnall. Take care. Bye for now.